Hi guys and girls and welcome back to another video. In this episode of making a FPS game in Unity, we're going to export all the FBX files from Blender to Unity. If you've been following through the previous episodes, you'll see that we have a few save files. We have one for the mesh, for the rig, for the finished up model, rig and way painted object. And we also have a few for animations. So basically what we need is we need one general file and then we need animations that will tell the rig of the general file what it needs to do. So obviously we're first going to open up our general file which is our FPS arms anim. So this is the file from which we started all the animations and that should work perfectly for us. So right click on our mesh and shift right click on the rig go file export fbx and what I like to do is I like to create a new folder and call this one F fbx oops fbx so we can organize this a bit better we're going to store store all our fbx files in here and I'll just rename this to fps arms also we have to go down here to selected objects and also to here and just click export that is perfect okay now we have to do all of that for the animations. So go file, open, we'll get the idle animation first. What we need to do is we need to go to the object mode. So you can do it down here or you can just press control tab. And you only want to select the rig here because we really don't need the mesh. So with the armature selected, just go file, export FBX, click selected objects down here, click this to apply the scale, Go into FBX folder and save this as FPS Arms Idle. And I've actually made a small mistake. This should have been called FPS Arms Idle Knife. So I'm just going to rename the FBX to um, Idle Knife, right, like this. And then click Export. We're going to get the Walk Knife animation. Same thing, go to, to the Object Mode, go File, Export, FBX. Go into the FBX folder, the name is good, selected objects down here, and the thing for the scale, and click export. Two more to go, go open, let's get the jump animation, go into object mode, file, export, FBX, FBX, selected objects, scale, and the name is good, export. And one more, we have the attack knife. Go into object mode, file, export, FBX, tech knife, good name, selected objects, and the thing for the scale, and export. And that's all we have to do for the exporting part, let's get into Unity now. You want to find the folder that we saved all the things in, and go into the FBX folder, and then in the project menu here, just uh, drag all of these in here, and now you should have something like this. And this is our general file or the basic file. And then we have our four animations. Now we do have some setting up to do. So let's just set up a quick scene right here. We'll just go right click, 3D object, cube. And this is going to be our floor. So if you select it here and press F2, you can rename it. I'll rename mine to floor. You want to check that the position is 0, 0, 0. And we'll set the scale to 20, 1, and 20. We will not change the material because it's just not needed. And then we'll drag our arms in here and you can see that our arms are way too big. You could change the scale on the object right here but what I like what I like doing is just going here, go to the model and changing the scale factor. So if I change it to something like 0.3 and click apply, our arm should be much smaller, maybe 0.2 actually. And this should be, I think this is pretty good for the thing. The problem here is that we have to go through every animation and change this to 0.2 also. Or else the animations will not work. So just select the animation, go to the model tab and change the scale factor to be the same as the general file, which is 0.2. You could definitely go into Blender and then scale down the object, but I just don't think that's very convenient. Here, one problem that we have, we forgot to assign the materials to 
the mesh in Blender. So now our mesh only takes in one material like this. So if we drag it and change the color, you can see that it's only one color and we want to have one color for the hand and one color for the sleeve. We can easily change that, but it will take a bit of time. So we need to go back into Blender. It's better to do it now than later because it's only going to cause more problems. So let's go into FPS Arms NM and then right click on the, on the mesh, go into edit mode with tab. And then we'll have to select our sleeve. Then we'll go to the materials tab over here, this circle and create two new materials. We'll rename this one to mat one. First one is mat one and the second one is obviously mat two. Now the problem here is only the mat one is changing the color of the mesh. We have to assign the second material to the mesh. We want the hand to have the second material, so we'll go into face select mode with control tab and then pressing face, or you can just change it down here. And then we'll select this thing with just shift and right click. Or you can use the circle select tool with C. I'll just do it like this, much simpler. So now we want to go select the material 2 and click assign. And that should work. So now back to, to our export, select these two things. Go File, Export, FBX, Selected Objects, Scale. And now we can, instead of renaming it, we can just click to FPS Arms and it will auto automatically rename it and click Export. And also we have to save our file, so press Control S to save. Now if we go back and delete this from Unity, so just press delete on your keyboard and delete it from the scene also. Now if you import this into Unity again, put it in here, we also have to change the scale factor again, so 0.2. like that that's pretty good and now it takes in two materials so let's create one material for our sleeves which we'll call something like green cloth material i'll put it here pick some green color something like this works good and then we'll have a skin material and we'll drag that to the hands and get some kind of a skin looking color this seems fine so we have our armature in here but nothing in here tells our armature to be connected with these animations what we have to do is we have to go to our uh, mesh or our FPS arms go to rig and change the animation type to humanoid and also avatar definition to create from this model. Now we get a small error because we're not actually using a humanoid rig, but that's fine, don't worry about that. Now you can left click on one animation and then shift left click onto the last one, it's going to select them all. Go to rig, change the animation type to humanoid and change the avatar definition to copy from other avatar. And now it's it needs a avatar source so just cl click on this arrow on the FPS arms and drag this last thing here that's the avatar drag it here and if it asks you to change the animation type to generic just say yes and apply now everything should work properly if we go to the animation here if you select any animation and then just drag this thing out so left click and drag up it will say that there's no model av available, available for preview. So just drag in your mesh file and now if you play it, it plays our animation. You can see that's pretty good and that's actually all for the setup. We don't need to do anything else. We just have to add some scripts and animators and things 
and everything should work as desired. This is it for this episode, in the next few episodes we're going to be setting up the player movement and player look and fu functions and that's going to be fun. So be sure to subscribe so you can check those videos out when they come out. And you can always go follow me on Patreon or support me on there if you're very generous. If not, it's still cool. I love you all and hopefully I'll see you in the next episode. Bye bye.